Hey everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about relations and its uses in Creo Parametric. So, I am in part mode right now. So, for the purpose of demonstration, I am going to make a simple part here by going into planar option, picking the top plane. So, here I am drawing a rectangle that is this big. So, we can make it 150 by 50. Click OK. So, I will give it thickness of 2 millimeter here. So this is our basic 3D model right now. So in this model, if you hover your mouse over on the model and double click, you will see certain dimensions that are driving this model here. So I go to tools and hit switch dimensions in the model intent ribbon or menu, whatever it is. So if I hit switch dimensions, I get these parametric uh, numericals here like uh, that is D1, D2, D0, etc. So these represent separate parameters or separate dimensions that are driving this model on how it should actually be. So if in case I hit the switch dimensions again, you could see what the dimension actually are. What we are going to do now is we are going to automate the model in a fashion that if you change one of these dimension, all the other dimensions get adjusted based on the mathematical relations we are going to give it. So let's get started. So I am clicking away from the model. So by default, you will either be in the sheet metal or the 3D section, uh, depending on whichever mode you are choosing. But the relations tab is common for every mode. So I go to tools and there is an option called D equal to, which represents relations. So I hit the relations tab. Depending on the Creo version you are using, this default relations might differ, but we are not going to care about this much. So you just hit enter. It's like a text box. So you just come to an empty space, hit slash, star, star, and type something like user relations, which means that you are responsible for the relations which are entered down. So I just zoom out of the model here. If you click on this 3D model, it will highlight what are all the basic dimensions or the parameters that are driving this model, as I previously said. So here I would like to demonstrate by controlling the width of this uh, rectangular sketch here or the rectangular 3D model here. So the width has to be driven, that is D1. If I click on, if I click on D1, it will uh, bring up that parameter here. I'm just bringing one line down for clarity. So I press equal to. So I want this width to be half of my length. So half is 0 0.5. You, you can also put 1 by 2 in the bracket. It works the same way. So I want 0.5 times my length. So length is D2 here. Hit D2. So my relation, basic relation is done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to verify it. In order to verify it, you click on verify. Tick mark here. The relations have been verified. Click OK. Only if your relations are verified, you will be able to move forward with your uh, equations or your model will not regenerate or you won't be able to exit out of relations tab unless you correct it. So make sure you hit the check mark every time you change the relations. Now I repaint the screen to get it out of the dimensions on my screen. Double click on it. So if I want to edit my dimension 50 here, it won't allow me to because it is being driven by the relation. If you look at the bottom left corner of the screen, it says that dimension part 01 is driven by relations D1.5 star D2. It means that I won't be able to edit it manually. This is some kind of a foolproof mechanism in case you are sharing this to any of your uh, you know, uh, friends or uh, colleagues or team members. They won't be able to tamper with any of the dimension unless otherwise they go to the relation step. So I'm going to double click on it. And uh, right now, as my relation said, my width should be half of that of my length. It has regenerated my model to match the 150 mm length and 75 mm width. Now I will change the length right now to somewhere close to 200. So my width accordingly increased. So I change it to 100. So it comes down to 50 here. Now here comes the fun part. You are not only limited to changing these types of overall bounding dimensions, but also internal feature dimensions as well. For that, I'm going to go to extrude cut and I'll just make a circular cut here for the purpose of demonstration. In case you are having a clearance hole, say 10 millimeters in your design, and you wanted to control the dimension of the hole, say tangentially from here to this edge, 
pick that edge yeah so based on your design intent if you want to keep the whole edge from uh, holes tangential uh, perimeter to this edge here if you want to keep the distance say three times your thickness i will uh, enter some value like 15 so later we can control it using our uh, relations here i'll click okay so cut is done so if i double click on it you will be able to see a dimension 15 here and go to tools and switch dimension the, the dimension or the parameter that is driven driving this dimension would be or uh, sorry driving this feature would be d5 here and the diameter will be d4 go to relations again so I create another line click on this hole so i want this d5 equal to three times my thickness so my thickness is being driven by the first feature that's the planar feature so i click on this wall here my thickness here is d0 if i click on d0 it will uh, populate it inside my relations text box so i want this three times three star asterisk means multiplication here just like any other uh, uh, app that uses uh, numerical calculations so three asterisk d0 and i verify my dimension okay so now if i come here and regenerate my model my hole has moved so if i double click on it and switch dimensions it is showing six because if i measure my thickness it is two millimeter so three times two is six so my relations are verified so now we can change the thickness to see if the dimensions are changing so i change from two millimeter thick to five millimeter thick now you can see the hole has significantly moved away from the edge making it three times five 15. so this is how you can uh, use relations and uh, make use of you know uh, model automation and uh, parametric modeling as well thank you for watching in the coming video I will show you how to suppress and unsuppress feature based on parameters. Say for example, if we have 10 holes in a slab like this, a slab like feature, and if we want 20 holes for uh, twice of its length or half of that, like say for example, if it is 100 millimeter, I want 10 holes. And if it is 200 millimeter, I want 20 holes. And 300 millimeter, I want 30 holes. You can even control that dimension as well. And you can also, uh, suppress and unsuppress features for example if i have a boss sitting on top of this i want to suppress it for some input values say for like configuration one or configuration two you can do that so we look at it in the coming videos for now you can just uh, you know go through this video again watch it to make sure that you understand the concepts well and try it out for yourself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video